Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. And today we're reviewing the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. I actually found this on Beauty Bay and I haven't seen much reviews on it online. I haven't seen it much at all, to be honest. Um, so I'm really intrigued by it. I don't know what it's gonna be like. And I'm also going out for brunch today. So I'm taking a bit of a risk trying a new product when I'm going out, but we'll see how it goes. You know it's bad if I'm not willing to go out with it. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Bebo Scott. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. I'm just on the Beauty Bay website right now, and this was £16.50, which is quite a lot for a drugstore foundation. Do you guys remember the two-in-one foundation days? And, and I got the shade. 360 soft chai which i think is more my winter shade but we'll see um it's a light to medium coverage with blue light protection i feel like we need protection against everything now it looks like skin but better i don't mind that actually you guys know i'm all about that it helps to protect your skin against dullness discoloration hyperpigmentation that may be caused by blue light exposure which i had no idea you can use a brush or sponge okay so that's the pump of it and it's quite a thick foundation it is definitely on the lighter side i don't know what it is i went out one day in london and i just went three shades darker i don't know what it is and now most of my foundations are suiting me because they are a bit darker i think this might work you know i'm tempted to use my sponge okay let's use the sponge I'm not expecting too much coverage from this since it says it's light to medium. It has a, a fruity scent to it, but it's very subtle. And I did also prep my skin with SPF and a bit of primer. I'm just going to try and bit, put a bit more of my scarring here because they are bugging me and around my mouth. The shade match isn't too bad. It's a little bit paler, but you know what? It actually blends really well. It's definitely setting matte. It didn't do too bad at covering my scars, but I would definitely say medium coverage. But yeah, this is sitting really nicely. It's definitely more on the matte side. It's soft. It's a little bit tacky, but you know, I think it looks good. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Wow, guys, I've done my makeup and this looks pretty bomb. Oh, I love this makeup look, it's so soft. I feel like my makeup looks the same every time guys but yeah i just love this base i'm more than happy to go out with this although i do feel like it's getting slight slight smile lines but you know we'll see throughout the day but do you know what it's just the finish is nice it's like a soft matte finish but yeah so far i really like this we're gonna see how this wears throughout the day. I'll also show you some close-ups of it now, but yeah, pretty flawless. And I'm happy that it's only medium coverage. I just feel like you guys have seen so many products. I mean, you know what looks good and what doesn't look good. So I ain't lying. This looks pretty good. And this is some daylight and um, light light. So this is like my true skin color right now. And I love it. Here's just a quick close-up. It's, what time is it? Nine. 9 a.m. I'm just gonna set it with some powder. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go out probably in the rain. It looks really bad today outside, but it's okay. It's not gonna stop us. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this looks later on today. All right, guys, it's now just 7 p.m., 6.58, and uh, I've been wearing this all day. I've been out and about in the rain and all that. Guys, this looks so bad. This is worse than the Kat Von D foundation. No wonder nobody's talking about this. It's so bad. I mean, it's not working for me. This is so bad. I'm going to show you up close, but I've never had this. I've never had a foundation look like this on me. Mm, I don't... What? I mean, I have no words. I'm putting the brightness real low for you guys so you got so you can see. Mm. 
Honestly, it looks so bad. It looks like I put PVA glue on my face and just let it dry and slowly peel off. It's really bad. I do not recommend this foundation. Um, it looks awful and I felt, I didn't feel too self-conscious like because I had the mask on, luckily I had a mask. If I didn't have my mask on throughout the day to cover that, I would have been so self-conscious. It literally looks like I have snake skin, like peeling. It's done it a bit everywhere, to be honest, but mostly here and here. No, thank you. <laughs> Guys, I don't rate it. I just don't, I don't rate it at all. Just this one's definitely a big pass for me. Anyways, I hope you guys found this review helpful. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can join the family. And yeah, I will see you in my next review.